Hi, it's me again. It's Bank Holiday Monday. There's only one place you're allowed to go on a Bank Holiday Monday, aren't there? Seaside. So you catch me today in Jaywick. Even though I did forget it was a Bank Holiday, and last night I made me sandwiches and I'm sure. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've gone to work on a Bank Holiday Monday. But it's nice down on this bit, look at this. Once we cross this little brow, we'll be looking at the sea. There's worse places to go in Jaywick, and I guess a bad name. It's all right, my family's from down here, so I had to see it. But, um, I thought today we could talk about local papers again, because you know how when local papers attempt to talk about the TV license fee, it absolutely boils my piss, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it's happened again. It's happened again. There are two, two here people have sent me in. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. I'll spin you around again because you can see the sea now. So this one's in Coventry Live. I mean, look at that. That's a nice looking beach, right? Can't say bad things about Jaywick. So this one's in Coventry Live. How to watch TV without a TV license as latest rules confirmed. So that kind of sounds like they've done a bit of research there, doesn't it? And I don't want to break the illusion for you, but they haven't. This is, uh, I've talked about this before. I'm not going to read the whole article and everything because you know where this is going to go, right? This is the fight back from TV licensing. There's people like me and people like you and a few other YouTubers, Black Bill Barrister and a few other people that are on this side of the fight trying to get the license fee abolished because it's a ridiculous fee. It's just old fashioned, it's done with, it's taxing people. It's not necessary anymore. But the BBC need it because it's 3.7 billion quid a year, going up soon, which will put it over 4 billion a year. If you were gifted that for not having to do any work, would you give it up easy? Of course you wouldn't, of course you wouldn't. So they have employed multiple PR agencies on multi-million pound contracts whose only job is to enforce a narrative of the TV license fee and to keep the TV license fee around. We are fighting against that and that's what these are so these these PR agencies they reach out to debt charities local communities and local publications because they have the power to do so and they just print it these publications just print it. there's no journalism there. there's no fact checking they just print what they're sent and that's how you get stuff like this and local people read the local paper especially slightly older people love to read a local paper don't they and it's, it's not helpful. Where's that bloody gone? Hmm. So it starts off like it's actually a community-based thing. Look, at this time of year, one group of people have a TV license in mind, students, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we care about you and your local community. No, they don't care about you. What can I legally watch without a TV license? A common misconception is that TV licenses are only needed to watch BBC content. Many will comment saying things like, oh, I don't watch anything on BBC, so I don't need to pay. This is a myth. A TV license is a legal requirement if you do any of these. Watch a record TV on any channel, via Sky, Virgin, whatever. Watch live on streaming services, i.e. ITVX, Channel 4. This is straight from the TV licensing website. Don't be fooled into thinking Coventry Live wrote this. They didn't. Use BBC iPlayer, okay. TV licenses are not per, ha uh, per house, not per person, blah, blah, blah. So the main part of the article is listing the stuff you need it for and then saying things like ITVX and I get emails every day from people saying you can't you stop telling people you can watch ITVX and all four without a license you can't it's written here read it again it says live but they don't emphasize that or don't tell you the full bifter on that because they want you thinking you can't watch ITVX and catch up on Cory unless you pay the license fee it's bad isn't it what you don't need a license for, look, the first thing, people don't read everything, they know this. What you don't need a license for, watching DVDs or Blu-rays. And you're like, oh, well, no one's got any of them anymore, I guess I've got to pay my license fee. Watching Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, as long as it's not live content, blah, blah, blah. As Steven Lines says, you need to be covered by license to watch programmes live on any service, such as ITVX. So it does say here, I mean, that is misleading, right? Sky Go and all of that. You don't need a license if you only ever watch on-demand programs on any service apart from BBC iPlayer. But you can't tell me this is fairly written. You can't. You need to be covered by a license to watch programs live on any service such as ITVX, Channel 4. People just read that. 
they don't see the live bit. It's misleading. It's misleading. And uh, I don't like it. Will the TV license van get me if I watch something without a license? What TV license van? The, why can't they just say here, there are no TV license vans? If they were a journalist, they'd do a bit of research into this and realize that not one prosecution on a TV license offense has ever come about with evidence gained via a detector van. Thus, they don't exist. But no, okay. The infamous TV license detector vans are thought to be a myth by many. At the TV license website enclosed, we have a fleet of vans. Just zero, zero journalism. So there is one more. I'm gonna move down a bit though, hold on. And to pull my trousers up, I've got these stupid modern trousers on. This girl I'm seeing says I dress like an old man. So I've got these stupid modern combat trousers. I think you can't put a belt on them, fall down around my ankles. I am old, don't I? All right, so I've got this one. This one's in Yorkshire Live. And this one says, how TV license enforcement find out if you have a license or not? Uh, I don't know, I don't, it just, it winds me up. It winds me up. How can I fight against? How can you fight against these? Have a look. It's nice, isn't it? It is pretty down there. You can't say it's not. So what's he saying in this article? A common misconception is that TV licenses are only needed to watch BBC content. Oh, look. So this is the same article syndicated out, is it? Okay, that's fine. Uh, TV licensing is responsible for enforcing the TV license in the UK. However, the job of investigation and collecting has been contracted out to Capita. Yeah, that very trustworthy company. Capita. Thousands of letters are sent out every week, blah, blah, blah. Where's the meat of this one then? There is no law that requires a householder to make a verbal or written statement in relation to an inquiry about a TV license, right? However, TV licensing is only allowed to physically check your TV and recording equipment, not any computers, mobile phones, or well. Black Belt Barrister will have something to say about that. It's, I swear in that Black Belt Barrister video we did that loads of you messaged me on, he was saying they're gonna check your phones and stuff. He may be requested to turn, hang on a second. Anyway, there's one thing I've missed on this bit, look. So they turn up and it says here, they're only allowed to physically check your, like they have a right to be in your property to physically check your TV. That's a bit off, isn't it? Oh, God, piss boiled. They can't just turn up at your door, say from TV licensing, I'm coming in to check your telly. No, they're only allowed in if they've got a warrant, which is exceedingly rare nowadays, or you let them in. So if you get one happens to knock on your door, I am from TV licensing. No thanks mate, close the door. They won't be checking your telly. You know, this, this has come directly from, from TV licensing, Capita, the PR agencies. That's where this has come from. You may be requested to turn on your television and if you refuse, and TVL will likely attempt it themselves. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be wound up today because I'm having a nice day by the sea. I'm going to go and have a pint of lager and a roast dinner and go in the amusements in a minute with my mum. So I don't want to get wound up, but that has fucking well wound me right up. They can't just turn up. This is enforcing it. They are paying millions of pounds to have stuff like this. How long before I, I stack it on this seawall? They are paying millions of pounds to enforce the narrative that you must pay it. And if you don't, then they can come to your house, they can let themselves in, and they can go through your private property. This is, you could, they're, ramp, they're ramping up a bit. I mean, it hasn't been this bad and articles that bad for a long time, I don't think. I mean, I've been in this fight a while, as you know. Yeah, it's bad at the minute. I think we're starting to hurt them. I think the amount of cancellations that are happening every month is really starting to hurt them. And they're ramping up. Oh, it's busy down there. And they're really ramping up their fight. And uh, I don't like it. Come on, hello. I don't like it. And I've got to keep calling these local papers out because I, I tweet them. When I talk about the local papers, I always send them an email or tweet them with a link to the video. Just do some journalism. Don't just copy and paste something. 
that a PR agency has sent you just because it's free copy. Do the work. All you had to put in that article, you can copy and paste it if you want, Say, but what our journalists say about this is, if you don't watch a recording of things being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer, no TV license is required. You can use ITVX all you want, just don't watch anything live. You can use channel four, all four, five, all you want. Don't watch anything live. And you, if an inspector turns up at your door, you have the right to say, no thanks mate, and close the door. You do not have to tell them you don't require a tele license if you don't want to, although you can do a no license needed exemption if you wish. Why can't they just put that? The actual facts rather than what they're told to put by a TV license. Where the hell's my car? Has it been nicked already? I've only been here 10 minutes. No, it's over there. Oh, I don't know. It just annoys me. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to all of that. I hope you have a good bank holiday weekend. And I'll see you when I see you. Ta-da.